Hey, hurry up back there. We need to keep moving. The others must still be in the forest somewhere. It's only been a few hours since we were attacked. They must be nearby, right? And if they're not in the forest, then they could still be in the town just past here. Hey, come on, hurry up. What are you doing all the way back there? I'm aware you're tired, but think of the rest of our party. They could be exhausted and, and hurt. We cannot abandon them. Wh what do you want from me? Water? Here, have the rest of mine. Anything to give you more energy, to keep you moving, but we need to hurry. We have to reunite the party. You what? Don't give me that attitude. Of course you can keep up. You were able to climb the saint's mountain with us when there was gold involved. You must be able to run around a forest to find your party, right? <sighs> Listen to me. We need to find the others. We need to. Because we cannot abandon them. Even a bard should realize that. I, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled. <sighs> it's just that I'm the leader of the party. I should have anticipated the bandit's attack. Of course we'd be more vulnerable when we're in the possession of the dragon's sapphire. I should have known they'd come for us. <sighs> How could I have been so stupid? I should have cast a protection spell. Even a mild one. I, I should have healed everyone after we got out of the cave. I should have done so much more. And instead I froze. And my party could be hurt because of it. And now look at me. I'm nearly killing you with all this running. I apologize. Again, it's my fault. This is all my fault. We lost everyone, and we lost the sapphire, the entire point of our quest. The entire quest has made in vain. Stop. You don't need to pity me. Yes, you're right. Knowing that everyone was alive when we last saw them does make the situation slightly better. And I know that they're all strong. I just... I need to find them as soon as possible. Do you understand? I suppose you're not wrong. A restful night would clear my head and it would restore our energy. And by the sweat on your brow, I'm guessing you need to rest. All right, fine. There's a storm coming. We won't be able to stay in the forest. We can head to the town on the other side of the forest. The innkeeper said he had room, right? Let's go. All right. It looks like it's here. <sighs> there. Well, for being the only room available, it looks large enough. Cozy. It does look like there's only one bed. There's two pillows, at least. I'll sleep on the floor. It's only right. Are you sure? <sighs> well, which side would you prefer? Left or right? <sighs> Good. I'll take the right, then. Oh, gods. The storm is raging. How appropriate. Oh, I hope our party's found shelter. Are you comfortable on your side? Good. At least I know that you're safe. That way, I'm not a total failure of a leader. Do you think the others will fare well during the storm? See, you say that, but you don't really know, do you? Nobody knows. Everything was going perfectly until those bandits showed up. I thought that my first quest, being the leader, would be a success, and then... I know, I know, I'm being too hard on myself. You know, you're starting to sound like my father. <laughs> mm, he was a fine man. A true leader. I've always aspired to be like him and my mother. They taught me everything I know. Yes. Everything. My magic, my manners, my sense of duty, my eloquence. Though I'm sure my eloquence pales in comparison to you. 
where I have my way with magic, you have your way with words and music. Oh, come on. Don't thank me for speaking the truth. Speaking truthfully is something to be expected, not something worthy of gratitude. <sighs> it really is comforting to talk with you. I'm so glad that you made it out with me. <laughs> I'm glad the feeling is mutual. You were right, you know? Resting up a bit really is clearing my head. And despite the storm outside, the moonlight looks rather magnificent, wouldn't you say? It makes this horrible day feel just a little better. <sighs> Thank you for distracting me from my pain, for making me feel better. <sighs> we should probably get some rest. Shall I blow out the bedside candle? All right. <sighs> uh, uh, is it just my dark vision, or is the room still decently lit? I guess the moonlight was even stronger than I thought. I can feel its energy radiating inside of me. Perhaps the other members of our party are seeing the same light as well. That's a comforting thought, isn't it? The idea that the other members of our party are out there, somewhere, safe, enjoying the full moon as much as we are. Huh? Uh, oh, <laughs> my goodness. You really are a bard, aren't you? Those words were rather sudden. <laughs> well, I'm glad you think I look beautiful in the night. Though this is no time for flattery. <laughs> the truth? Ah, uh, I see. You're using my own words back at me. How eloquent of you. <laughs> Perhaps, though, it's time to rest. We can put our words aside for now. They'll still be on our tongues when we awake. Tomorrow will be a new day. A better day. <sighs> already. How long have you been up? Oh, why didn't you wake me? Oh, just give me a few moments to get ready and we'll be on our way. We can... Uh, is that... No, it can't be. It is. A hawk. A ranger's hawk. With an envelope in its beak. I told you last night we would reunite with them, didn't I? Shall I read the message aloud? All right. <sighs> Dearest friends, we hope this letter finds you healthy and well. I, your most trusted ranger, write to inform you that us four have reunited. They're together. <sighs> we are all healthy and safe. Oh, thank God. Our sorceress has scried your location and has found you to be in Renhurst which is about a day's travel from the location of our ambush. By the time this letter finds you, we will already be on our way. Please use the time to collect supplies for our journey forth. The rogue has recovered the dragon sapphire from the bandits. The instant we arrive, we must return to our kingdom to complete our quest and receive our reward. Sincerely, your loyal party. Oh, thank gods. Did you hear? They're safe. They did it. I knew they would make it through. And with the sapphire, no less. Oh, make haste. We have supplies to get, a party to meet, and a reason to celebrate. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. Everything's fine. I just realized that if the sorceress scried us, then she knows we had to share a bed last night. <laughs> I have a feeling we'll be in for a ribbing when we meet up with them. 